Please be seated, everyone. Let me begin by uh, extending on behalf of the faculty of the Division of Physical Sciences at Chicago a very warm welcome to the family and to the friends of these uh, outstanding new graduates of the University of Chicago. So welcome. Uh, I uh, want here to begin this uh, ceremony by uh, analyzing in typical University of Chicago physical sciences form exactly why it might be the case that we are so proud, so very proud of you, our graduates. And I thought about it and I have to say that uh, while earning this kind of honor, this kind of degree from any part of a great university uh, is very uh, non-trivial, in the physical sciences and mathematical sciences, I think it's particularly so. I think that uh, I'm a mathematician in mathematics. If you can prove something, you know you can prove it. If you cannot prove it, you know you cannot prove it. And there's, it's not a matter of opinion. <laughs> the same is true of experimentalists in physics, chemistry, and so on. And uh, I really mean it's a rather unforgiving kind of thing, and it's a very hard. And uh, uh, folks uh, like our graduates who succeed beautifully in this should be proud of themselves. So that's my first point. It's not an easy degree to say the very least. The other, uh, the second point I would want to make uh, in congratulating our new graduates is uh, asking the question of the company of scholars that they now join. Uh, there are many universities in the world and uh, I would ask, let us examine those who came before you uh, and see whether that would be uh, a source of pride. Is there a reason to be proud? And I've picked out three admittedly non-random uh, folks uh, and uh, for the parents and the, the friends, and you, you may not uh, have known this, but one of our better uh, graduate students who did uh, uh, get a, a PhD uh, from us, from our division, was a man by the name of Hubble, Edwin Hubble and his discovery that the Milky Way was not the entire universe, so in some sense he discovered the universe, and the fact that the universe was expanding uh, is a rather historic discovery. Um, a second person who may not be a household name to everyone, uh, Sherry Rowland, and, and um, of course Hubble, I, I, I am not a recent uh, graduate or I'm not a recent um, arrival at Chicago, but even I did not know Hubble, but I did know Sherry Rowland, who unfortunately passed away quite recently. Sherry won a Nobel Prize uh, in chemistry for, the method, for discovering the method of ozone depletion. Um, and he studied under another a very famous chemist, who I'll men whom I'll mention later. Finally, uh, the third person I, I want to single out was a, a, another non-random student whose company you now join students who are graduating, is someone close to, very close to my heart, uh, Alberto P. Calderon. Uh, I was a graduate student, as you might see from my, um, my robe at Princeton, um, but uh, my thesis advisor there was an undergraduate and a graduate student at the University of Chicago, where my field was invented uh, by Alberto P. Calderon and his, his thesis advisor, Anthony Zygmunt. So, um, my point here is a very serious point. My point here is that uh, graduating here, you are joining the company of some uh, remarkable people, of some remarkable students. And last, and certainly not least, the, the basic question in terms of being proud of an accomplishment is, is this something, okay, the field is hard, uh, there have been outstanding students, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are so outstanding. Um, <laughs> what about the standards at the University of Chicago? Are the faculty basically uh, distinguished? Uh, do they have a good uh, track record? And I picked out three non-random faculty members from the past. Uh, one of them, Enrico Fermi, I think needs no particular introduction, having ushered in the nuclear age at the University of Chicago. Another person I think most of the audience, even uh, the non-scientists uh, have heard of is S. Chandra Sekhar. Chandra Sekhar at age 19 
taking, sailing across the ocean to study under one of the great um, uh, British scientists of the time, Sir Arthur Eddington, uh, in astronomy, did a mathematical calculation that a star more than about two and a half times the mass of our sun in its old age, when its fuel is largely exhausted, will shrink to an absurdly small size. And he was greeted with disdain and ridicule as he revealed this calculation. We now know that these objects that we call black holes do exist. The 19-year-old Chandra Sekhar uh, did predict them. He won a Nobel Prize for this in his 70s. And I did know Chandra quite well. The last example uh, is the advisor of Sherry, Sherry Rowland, uh, Willard Libby, a chemist who won a Nobel Prize for the discovery of carbon dating. So, you know, my point is that the standards here are very, very high. The bar is very high. We have uh, scientists who are not very good scientists or excellent scientists. They are historical level scientists. They have ch literally changed the history of science in the world. And uh, they have very, very high standards. So the, field is, the fields that you have achieved in are not easy. Uh, you are in very good company. And the standards of this place are very, very high. So um, these are very good reasons to be extremely proud of you and your family, your friends, and believe me, your, the faculty here are very proud of you. So congratulations. So I want to end by saying, May each of you use to the best advantage what you've learned. May you make a difference in the challenging world that you inherit. And may your lives reflect honor back to your families, to your communities, and to your University of Chicago. Congratulations. We also want to honor today not just students, but uh, certain faculty members who have done uh, outstanding, outstanding work. And uh, for this reason, this past year, uh, one of my good friends, Art Kelly, established in the Physical Sciences Division the Arthur L. Kelly Faculty Prize for Exceptional Service. Mr. Kelly received his MBA from the university in 1964. And he established the same faculty award in the business school uh, in 1999. In addition to his contributions to finance, to business, international relations, and geography, Mr. Kelly served as a trustee of the University of Chicago from 1998 to 2008, and has served for nearly two decades on the visiting committee to the Physical Sciences Division, including 10 years as the chairman of that visiting committee. So I am very pleased to honor his contributions to the Physical Sciences Division and the University of Chicago through this, this wonderful award. Now the Kelly Prize celebrates faculty who outside of classroom teaching and their research have made exceptional efforts in promoting and supporting the division. And I'm pleased to announce here that the inaugural recipients of the Arthur L. Kelly Prize for Exceptional Faculty Service in the Physical Science Division are Kai Christina Lee and John E. Frederick. And as you see here, Mr. Kelly is right here, is going to join me in presenting this award. Professor of Chemistry, Kai Christina Lee, is a former associate director of the James Franck Institute and current director of the Materials Research Science and Engineering Center. Her work on the faculty steering committee for the University of Chicago Center in Beijing has helped shape our new campus in China. She is an active member of the PSD Diversity Committee. She was a founder and coordinating committee member of the Interinstitutional Chicago Collaboration on Women, uh, which focused on supporting junior faculty. She is also a founding member of the Women in the Physical Sciences Committee and served as its first chair. Congratulations, Kai. <laughs> 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 
Professor of Geophysical Sciences John E. Frederick was chair of his department from 1994 to 1997 and more recently served as Master of the Physical Sciences Collegiate Division and Associate Dean in the PSD from 2006 to 2012. He helped initiate the joint PSD Harris School Master's Program in Environmental Science and Policy. He has also served in many less visible roles. He has served for many years as one of the graduate counselors in his department. He has served on the department's junior faculty advisory mentoring committee. When his department's undergraduate program needed evaluation, he served as a key member of that committee. And in addition to his work within his department, he has served on many um, divisional committees, ranging from student discipline to fellowship competitions. He is truly that guy that always has answered the call of service. Congratulations, John. As you know, at the university-wide ceremony this morning, I presented our candidates for the degrees of Master of Science and Doctor of Philosophy to the President of the University. In the presence of the faculty of the university and the members of the Board of Trustees, he formally conferred those degrees in recognition of the incredible academic achievement of our students. At this time, it is my honor to award individual diplomas to each of our graduates. I now ask the directors of our master's programs to join me in congratulating our Master of Science graduates after they receive their diplomas. As Dean of Students for the Physical Sciences Division, I now have the honor to present for their diploma these students who have successfully completed a program of advanced study in the physical sciences, culminating in the degree Master of Science. Hua Bai. Timothy James Fornell Black. Christopher Paul Butera. Lynn M. Butler. Tao Tao Tai. Fabiola Carolina Canas Maya. Li Dan Chao. Ying Chao. Chen Chen. Shi Chen. Tu Chen. Tang Chen. <laughs> Wei Tui. Jia Chong Dai. Orea De Orea Dare. Joseph Michael Day. Ben Du. Daniel Duong. Jianning Duong. Stephen Robert Dai. Kun Fang. Song Gao. Kaibo Gung. Yetsu Gu Sang Jia Gu Shin Gu An Swang Me Guo Lena Han Terrace Hanziuk Mingchu Hao Chila Hu Samuel James Henry. Yu Yu Ho. Kun Hu. Alan J. Illing. Janet Jank. Wainan Jia. 
Xiao Yu Jin. She Zhu. Dmitry Kamitsky. Jia Li. Ninling Li. Su Li. Seji Li. Su Yuan Lin. Chung Liu. Kailin Liu. Ching Liu. Tang Yu Liu. Robert John Luby. Lulu. Tung Lu. Sutti Lo. Run by Ma. Sua Ma. Xiao Yu Ma. Joseph Delmonico Malandrucolo. Lilia Mirinova. Hung Yuan May. Andrew Mellis. And Alexander Mikalian. Ryan Namdar. Eric John Nielsen. Ivlo D. Nikolov. Jingu O. Tiratat Patana Anake. Sashin Narayan Pradhan. Leonardo Prasetto. Yini Chi. Suhan Cho. Johnny Ramos. Paul Michael Rolls. Lamont Kenneth Samuels. Gregory Robert Schultz. Alejandro Gabriel Silva. Munish Singh, Alexei Smolachev, Michael Westberg Sorensen, Antonios Suvatsklu, Sean Roy Stevens, Mark Anthony Storr, Jilong Soon, Yuewen Tan, Chie Tang, Sulin Tang, Robert David. Tim Pony, Adam Scott Trost, Samid Viveros Aguion, Chin Wan, Yuan Wan, Bingqing Wang, Dawei Wang, Haiwen Wang, Han Yao Wang, Nan Wang, Yao Wang, Yu Wang, Sao Wang, Ting Ting Wu, Ling Rei Xian, Tian Xin Xiao, Meng So Xie, Ku Shu, Shun Shu, Feng Ye Shue, Yuan. Shue Yao Yao Lung Ye Kashif Yusuf Chu Ye Yu Yu Wei Zheng June Sai Danta Wow Zhang, Fan Zhang, Hanbin Zhang, Jun Zhang, Tian Xiang Zhang, Wan De Zhang, Yue Liang Zhang, Lian Zhao, Ling Wei Zhao. Wen Tu Su Qian Jing So
The components of academic regalia derived from medieval clerical dress are the gown, the cap, and for those attaining the highest competencies, the hood. Today, those scholars who are being admitted to the community of doctors of philosophy will receive both a hood and their diploma for their disciplinary achievement. The velvet edge of the hood is dark blue, indicating the significant achievement of the level doctor of philosophy. The lining is maroon, the school color of the University of Chicago. In our ceremony, the hood will be placed over the head of the candidate by the dissertation advisor or the department chair or faculty representative. As Dean of Students for the Physical Sciences Division, I now have the honor to present for their diploma in hood these students who have attained scholarly distinction and have prepared a dissertation that contributes to knowledge in a particular field of research in the physical sciences, culminating in the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Grigori Avramidi, Department of Mathematics. Dissertation, Isometries of Non-Compact Aspherical Manifolds. Committee members, Shmuel Weinberger and Benson Farb, hooded by Wilhelm Schlag. Jared Alexander Bass, Department of Mathematics. Dissertation, Topological Classification of Some Multi-Axial Actions on Spheres and Products. Committee members, Shmuel Weinberger and Benson Farb, hooded by Peter May. <laughs> Matthew Rand Becker, Department of Physics. Dissertation, Weak Lensing Simulations for Large Area Sky Surveys and Second Order Effects in Cosmic Shear Power Spectra. Committee members, Andre Krofstoff, Daniel Holtz, John Karlstrom, and Chen Jing, hooded by David Reed. <laughs> Lars August Bergstrom, Department of Computer Science. Dissertation, Parallel Functional Programming with Mutable State. Committee members, John Reppy, David McQueen, and Matthew Fluet, <laughs> hooded by John Reppy. <laughs> Patrick Bernard Brady, Department of Chemistry. Dissertation, Super Silil Directed Aldol, Ald Aldol Reactions for the Synthesis of Polyketides. Committee members, Hisashi Yamamoto, Sergei Kozman and Varesh Rawal, hooded by Richard Jordan. <laughs> Stefano Costuccio, Department of Statistics. Dissertation, Statistical Methods for Climate Ensembles. Committee members, Michael Stein, Peter McCullough, and Steven Stigler, hooded by Steven Stigler. Elizabeth Blair Davey, Department of Mathematics. Dissertation, some quantitative unique continuation results for Eigen functions of the magnetic Schrodinger operator. Committee members, Carlos Koenig and Wilhelm Schlag, hooded by Carlos Koenig. Fang Kun Dung, Department of Chemistry. Dissertation, Studies of Sortes A by Total Chemical Synthesis. Committee members, Stephen Kent, Xuan He, and Olaf Schneewind, hooded by Lori Butler.
Kimberly Ann Griffin, Department of Chemistry, Dissertation, Asymmetric Metal Catalyzed Nitroso Heterol Deals Alder and O Nitroso Carbonyl Aldol Reactions. Committee members, Hisashi Yamamoto, Varesh Rawal, and Sergey Kozman, hooded by Richard Jordan. Ran Ho, Department of Physics, Dissertation, Symmetries and Their Breakings at Microscopic and Cosmic Scales. Committee members, Carlos Wagner, Lian Tao Wang, Mark Oreglia, and Wayne Hu, hooded by David Reed. Rita Jimenez Rowland, Department of Mathematics, Dissertation, Examples of Representation Stability Phenomena. Committee members, Benson Farb and Peter May, hooded by Peter May. <laughs> Andrew Weatherell Lari, Department of Mathematics. Dissertation, On the Global Behavior of Wave Maps. Committee members, Wilhelm Schlag and Carlos Keenig. Hooded by Wilhelm Schlag. <laughs> Athanasios hey. Papa Ioano, <laughs> Department of Mathematics. Dissertation Algebraic Solutions to Non Ubelian Differential Equations. Committee members Mark Kissen and Alexander Balinson. Hooded by Amy Wilkinson. Bo Chi, Department of Chemistry. Dissertation, Finding Reaction Coordinates for Complex Biomolecular Dynamics. Committee members, Aaron Dinner, Benoit Roux, and Greg Voth. Hooded by Aaron Dinner. <laughs> Mohamed Abbas Rezoi, Department of Mathematics. Dissertation, SLE Curves, and natural parametrization. Committee members, Gregory Lawler and Stephen Lawley, hooded by Gregory Lawler. <laughs> Daniele Rosso, Department of Mathematics. Dissertation, Mirabolic Flag Varieties, Combinatorics and Convolution Algebras. Committee members, Victor Ginsburg and Matthew Emerton, hooded by Peter May. Daniel Shappy, Department of Mathematics. Dissertation, Generalized Tanaka Duality. Committee members, Peter May and Madhav Nori, hooded by Peter May. <laughs> Chung Xiao Sung, Department of Chemistry. Dissertation, Mapping recently identified DNA epigenetic modifications in the mammalian genome. Committee members, Xuan He, Lucy Godley, and Stephen Kent, hooded by Richard Jordan. <laughs> Jiajing Tan, Department of Chemistry. Dissertation, one, copper catalyzed enantioselective clason rearrangement, two, Advances in super silo chemistry through the development of new synthetic methodologies. Committee members, Yamamoto Hisashi, Sergey Kozman, and Varesh Rawal, hooded by Richard Jordan. <laughs> Matthew John Thibault, Department of Mathematics. Dissertation, Homotopy Theory of Combinatorial Categories. Committee members, Peter May and Shmuel Weinberger, hooded by Peter May. <laughs> Guan Chang Zhang, Department of Chemistry. Dissertation, the effect of internal energy partitioning on the reactiv reactivity of radical intermediates. Committee members, Lori Butler, Xuan He, 
Tao Pan and Joseph Picciarelli, hooded by Richard Jordan. <laughs> Dean Pfefferman, I now have the honor to present for their hood these students who have attained scholarly distinction and prepared a dissertation that contributes to knowledge in a particular field of research and were awarded the degree Doctor of Philosophy at a convocation ceremony earlier this year. Caroline Copeland Womack, Department of Chemistry. Dissertation, Characterization of RN Demethylases. Committee members, Shuan He, Greg Engel, and David Maziotti, hooded by Lori Butler. We have spent today celebrating you, the graduates of the Physical Sciences Division, but we all recognize that our achievements are dependent upon the prior contributions of others. John Donne wrote the oft-quoted, no man is an island entirely unto itself. Every man is a piece of the continent. A contemporary of his wrote, if we surpass the achievements of our predecessor, it is because he himself has helped us to surpass him. We will thus always have his share in the glory of our achievement. And so I invite all the graduates to rise and turn and to acknowledge and thank your parents, partners, children, family, and friends. And now, please turn back toward the front, and I ask you to thank the faculty and staff of this great university for all that they have done to make you the accomplished person you are today. And there is a third group I ask you not to forget the community of your fellow graduates of the university. Edward Levy, later our eighth president, said at the university's 310th convocation in 1965, through, through this institution, you are not only joined to each other and to us, but to graduates of long ago and hopefully of many years to come. No one owns this institution. It possesses all of us. It calls upon us to enter into its fellowship of the intellect. In this fellowship, no place is more honored than that of the graduate who carries this university in his mind and heart. I welcome you to that place. As you leave this, our 515th convocation, some of you will continue your formal education here at the University of Chicago or elsewhere. Others will start new careers inside or outside the academy. We, your teachers and mentors, trust that you will pursue your goals and aspirations with ambition, tempered by wisdom, with discernment sharpened by critical reasoning, and with dedication fortified by ideals. Good luck and thank you. This now concludes the Physical Sciences Diploma and Hooding Ceremony at the 515th Convocation of the University of Chicago. I thank you for witnessing today's ceremony and welcome you to stay for the reception. The Museum of Science and Industry, which is hosting us today, has kindly granted all graduates and their guests museum access. If you would like to visit the museum after the reception, please pick up a pass at the table directly outside the auditorium. Also note that the photographer will be upstairs in the balcony foyer if you would like to pose for additional pictures. Graduates, congratulations. Guests, now please stand for the recession. <laughs>